my guys uh, Razor here um, I just wanted to quickly load this up um, I've had some time today so I've added all the leveling trees to our Domblo Juggernaut starter and I'm just gonna highlight one or two changes that they added in the world as well um, I'm not gonna go through everything so this video will be a little bit shorter but uh, in the end I saw getting this duration we are actually near the flask mastery and this is quite a nice one for four percent of life when you use a flask so we're going to incorporate that with extra life flasks and uh, then also I'm going to try and see how this works to anoint replenishing remedies so we'll get like two two we're using a hybrid flask the jar so we're getting four or five charges per three seconds so we should be able to pop that thing quite often which means we get worms out which means our generation of, of uh, what do you call it the uh, dominating bow minions will be very good even if there is anything nearby to, to kill immediately so i want to see how that works out but that that should be great sustain there on the flasks um the other thing that we put in was a fire song jewel coupled with two crafts on the ring um, for reduced ignite duration so when you reach 100 percent reduced ignite duration you are ailment immune something i did uh, um i'm a marauder what did i play Ah, Sunder, I think. Um, quite an easy way at the start uh, of the league. It uh, costs you two suffixes and uh, yeah, you're completely helmet immune. So um, this jewel was also not too expensive. And I also got one last season, Corrupted Blood on, which wasn't too bad. So you might pay 10 or 20 C for this and then maybe 50 or 60 C later to get one with Corrupted Blood. So that's a good option. Um, so in the trees, you can change everything. The tree at the bottom, you can take it down uh, so it shows you level 1 to 16 will show you where we start off and level 17 to 35 we will move into the minion nodes uh, still using volcanic fish at this stage and then we will just after we did the lab uh, first node we will get is unstoppable um, then as soon as we have those three nodes we will uh, do the swap and then we can go over to dominating blow um, that would be in the next tree and then when you are dominating blow you'll start going for your reservation nodes so we can start fitting determination after they've been taken and some skill duration make it a bit longer then uh, when we reach maps after 68 we will swap out refund those points and we will go down and take all the max raises here the extra max raise mastery here more life more reservation some aura scaling which will help us out as well extra damage nodes um, get ourselves uh, leveling up to 90 at this stage and then at any time where you see it's appropriate and you can get the jewel then you can get it and go to impale but i just just keep go using normal and wall banner till this stage um the same with the skills you will start i just put in the other basic skills volcanic ruthless added fire melee first so they are all in order as you would get them in the campaign and order of importance um movement leap slam Fast attacks, life tap, utility, war banner, steel skin, pick up vulnerability when you get it in Act 3. Herd of Purity, couple it with Ruthless at the start, and then the next two, Act 2, you get Culling Strike and Melee Fizz. And Totem setup, I use Protector till level 10. Stated it there, and then uh, Earthbreaker, Volcanic Fissure. Uh, you can probably keep on using uh, Protect if you want, I just like the way it looks, and it hits far, it's got a great range. And yeah, try to get Maim on there, um, or on your Herald depending how your colors work out so you can just get that little uh, debuff as well um, and then 68 uh, when you do the switch you'll add the stone golem and then i put the culling strike and the feeding frenzy with the stone golem and you take out your totem you don't have to use that anymore and then you add determination as soon as you've got enough uh, mana available to do it then later when you're leveling past 70 to 80 you'll be able to get pride when you have all the nodes and add this whenever you got sockets and, and, and put them in um, and then uh, when you do this uh, swap after 45 you'll change the dominating blow melee splash most important 45 multi-strike that will be your falling you'll add a brutality fifth link um, and then fail as your fixed link up the 98. same with the items i just just put basic stuff here like see if you can get a belt of deceiver then terminate us uh, quite an extra little bit of damage and you get some crit reduction there so it is nice normally not that expensive maybe one or two cc if someone sells it but to start you want to use your sashes on a, any kind of blue axe a karui axe a double axe uh, something like that or a timber axe um, and just use sass recipe until the time you're going to switch when you switch 
keep an eye out for two claws because we want a deal wheel to have as much attack speed when you switch as possible and you're just looking for some fizz or it can be actually any damage fizz cold because the minion uh, damage nodes scale everything for you um, as soon as you take spiritual aid here yeah. all mini minion damage in effect so you just want some flat damage or increased damage of any kind and then try to find the essence of fear where you can slap on the 47 percent or 40 to 50 percent increased minion damage you get attack speed on the claw it's also great you can see i just i just put two 150s in here actually with my playthrough at level 50 i had a claw that had 220 dps already so that's quite nice to, to get them out and that was just a dropped one it just dropped with triple early damage um, and then it will be the 90 i didn't didn't go massive in the gear it's basically just rares with life and resistance it's just try to get that and when you get the victorios uh, you can start first uh, try to obviously get the scourge and then maybe a victorios then maybe deal wield scourges and then start to look to craft yourself a claw at the start when you can't multi-mod you just try to throw essence of fear on it and get a good one and then later when you can you want to have uh, three suffixes open if you can to multi mod minion damage uh, ach, uh, minion attack speeds and a trigger um, if not you can go for two suffixes and a prefix and then on the prefix you can uh, craft cannot evade attacks you lose a little bit of the attack speed but then you can refund another two points here which you can use in clusters or offensive or extra life or something it be something i'll have a look at um, but yes there's all three of them follow the tree exactly at the bottom um, this we take for defense and obviously when we uh, got our clusters and mind flesh and chaos race capped with the plus threes yeah then we just unspec those nodes and then we can have a look if we get anything i didn't really see on this one but you know you can look it up there is a uh, uh, what do you call it there's a site somewhere i don't know the link i'll see if i can maybe find it but you can actually look up the numbers and then see what nodes in the area will give you but that's for another day for another worry this is basically just let's get started the first two or three days um guys hope you enjoy it's like i think quite three and a half hours away so it's not long um have a blast raise it out